Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, first round match between Alma and his Dark Elves and Mankis and his High Elves. What a, what a first round match, unbelievable. In the booth is Gdanik and Elliot. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hey up. Right. Um, yeah, unbelievable teams here. Uh, Alma is down TV, has a babe and Hubris Rakarth. And lots of blodge step. Lots of mighty blow, hasn't he? Look, two mighty blows. Three. Three mighty Oh, yeah, three. The, uh, is of big, big Hubris. Yeah. Match five. All these dis disgusting mighty blow pickers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what the hell, man? Uh, oh, 12 players and. Mankiz also has 12 players, a disgusting Natty on the bench, and some guard players, and some Adj, and lots of blood step, lots and lots of blood step. What Alma doesn't have is an Adj 5 move 8 blitzer, uh, because as he's pointed out in chat, I murdered that just before he parked the team. Uh, so mm. that. <laughs> ah. Narian with the, with the memes as well. Lovely. Hmm. 13 days. 13 days to what in Arian? 13 days to playing a random league and not being able to use your warp stone. Yep. Playing the cyanide ladder, Jimmy. Oh, yeah. yeah. I better be able to buy lots of skins. That's what I need. I need to be able to buy lots of skins. In level three. Maybe you can, but you can't buy the blood pass. <laughs> can't buy the blood pass. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, no. If I can't, if, if Blood Bowl 3 isn't like a top tier gacha game where I've got to like open chests with like a 3% chance of getting, you know, the, you know, super, you know, top tier shiny, you know, witch elf, then, you know, I don't want to play it. I don't want it. You know, no. If I can't spend $500 buying hats, it's a worthless game. But basically not letting you buy anything, yeah. <laughs> it was it's a novel approach to uh, monetizing their game. <laughs> Pre-order so you can buy a blood pass. Uh, we're not actually gonna have the blood passes for a few months. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a classic. <laughs> what a classic. Hmm. It was a big decision. Have we seen what the skins Ooh. might be apart from those glowing hands? Yeah, uh, the hands were a bit weird, weren't they? Yeah, Shredder Masks Shredder on the, uh, on the, uh, on the un Old World Alliance. Is that what they were? No, the Imperial Nobility, weren't they? Yeah, they had, like, Shredder Masks from, uh, from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So it was a huge Kaz and a huge Apo there. And Kaz mm. blowing his Apo on turn two. I don't just care about that red 1D blitz, which he yeah, stole. I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. guess I eat that. <laughs> like, now it's, now it's dead. Yeah. <laughs> Oopsie. Hmm. Yeah, it's weird the glowing hands. I guess it's because of the uh because of the whole uh warp stone angle, but yeah, it's yeah, weird. It just it? seems very mutation y, doesn't it, is the thing. Yeah, not not uh, uh, black oaks at all, is it? It's like yeah, it's not exactly, black oak yeah. at all. But I guess if you like, maybe it's because of Warpstone, and they think we've got to make one of them Warpstone, and we can't make Imperial Nobility Warpstone. So if we do this, it will look green and glowy for the trailer, maybe. That's um, true. Yeah, as, which uh, elf cat he is. Ezio pointed out that it, you know, orcs very well known for you know interacting with Warpstone in Warhammer Fantasy lore. That you know that's yeah. their thing. That's yeah, the, yeah, probably the least explicitly, explicitly <laughs> them. <you know. laughs> probably literally the least likely to. Yep. Mm. yep. Not like there's any other teams like Skaven or something, which are in you know the opening team, which are very well known for interacting with Warpstone or anything. Mm. Yeah. And he was chatting loads before that one day and after he said, okay, no chat, time to focus. Oh. Oh. The inducement e is done, Hubris Rakarth and a babe. Oh, so no wizard then. No wizard, no choose Hubris over the, bit, over the I, wizard. I guess, I guess wizard has less value on elf versus elf than elf versus bash. Like, yeah. I do still like the wizard though, I think. 
It's, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad, though, is it? Yeah. But then 16 turns of hubris, or what? Two, two, two. Like, if, is if hubris the um, 12th man? Yes, yeah, yeah, he's the 12th. Oh, okay, that's pretty close then, I guess. Oh, yeah, but... bench as well, fair enough. Yeah. yeah, he's pretty strong, he's pretty strong. Like, stronger if this guy was, was guard, right? If this guy was guard, yeah. and if, yeah. if that mighty blow was not on a witch elf and was guard, then, you know, if you've got no, if he was giving you your yeah. one mighty yeah. blow, it's, it's huge, isn't it? So, but I still think it's close. Like, Hubris is one of those ones, where, this matchup as well, where maybe you do take him over always. There's going to be a lot of, like, Blocking and fighting isn't there. It's two blodgy elf teams against each other. Having a strength four is, is pretty cool. Yeah, and the strip as well, right? The strip could be relevant. Oh, he's got strip. Yeah, wow. Mm, just as relevant as a wizard could be. And dirty player definitely going to get some fouls in. <laughs> yeah, you never know if there's a get the. Ref. I mean, he might, might do. Yeah, might do. Yeah. If there's a get the ref event, then absolutely. Oh yeah. Well, yeah. It's still scary, isn't it? But probably worth it at that point. Yeah, depending mm. on context. I remember I spun into Shawnee once and I, I <laughs> it choose Borak and there was lots of fouls had that day. <laughs> that, that was, that was it's funny, I would... Sorry. After you, Jimmy. I, I would struggle to pick... Funny, Almy was just saying thought about Roxy, but I would have thought about... I would not have thought about Roxy over a wizard, I don't think, but I would think about Hubris over a wizard, so that's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, Ro Roxy is great like with the wizard, right, but... Yeah. On her own, especially with witches on your team anyway, maybe a little bit more limited. Yeah. Roxy has a hard time as well with the, like, it, there's like four Blodgesteppers on Mankus's team or something. Yeah, there's a lot of like, Blodgestepp, yeah. It's just like having a loner frenzy piece. Yeah. It's yeah. like, oh, when you've already got some frenzy as well, it's like, oh, you know. Yep. Could, could be easier to play. <laughs> Well, just some standing in the way, some... <laughs> Ooh. It's not... Yeah, okay, well, let's switch, switch back anyway. It's like the elf version of the dwarf off when the dwarfs just stand in lines all game. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, Except the elves can just keep standing in the lines, isn't it? Like, and then the, and then the last turn, oh, we rolled a bunch of dice. And <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> When the, the dwarves, dwarves are just sad, when they all like stand in the line. Yeah, they, they, the dwarves stand in the line for the nil nil, the elves stand in the line for the one one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I mean, this is like this, the two ways to play the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can you can either you can either base all beds every turn with your elves, or you can kind of do nothing of it for a while, and then maybe base some ends near the end. No. Yeah, we saw the the Rusi base all men's with high elves against some lizard earlier, and uh, yeah, there's very much the opposite approach. Yeah, and you can do it from turn one, can't you? Like Chunter and Inari, mm. you will often see doing that, and it works. Uh, there was somebody who was it uh, in a few chances ago that just did it like every game, didn't he? He was very aggressive. Some rebel or I think I can't remember his name. Tempest Soul. High elves. No, somebody with oh. high elves. Um, T self maybe I don't know somebody. Okay. okay. I don't know who it was. Somebody. <laughs> it wasn't no, Tempest Hall because that's like that's not unusual. I'm sure it was. He, he's Dark Elf, isn't he? Yeah, no, I'm sure it was some it was somebody. I'm sure it wasn't Tempest Soul. But anyway. You definitely got to get basic at some point. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Otherwise... He just did it first he just did it first turn every round against everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. And, and and sometimes I think you do go in straight away, like depending on the matchup. Like sometimes oh, yeah, it's like sure. you, you can put them under so much pressure that you know, there's no reason not there's no reason to delay. You know, don't, don't let them sort of have a bit of a chance by you know not doing it early enough. Just just go for it. Yeah. And it's kind but, of higher risk, higher reward, isn't it, to go earlier? So if you feel like the matchup is harder, then maybe that's you know how you high roll right by going all in early. It gives you more yeah. high roll potential in a way. I I, I guess so. Like it's. It's kind of an interesting one, though. Like, it, like for, for sure, there's a lot of risk involved in taking the taking the beating, right? Like, you might base every up turn one, and like ten of your guys get cast, and obviously, whenever whenever Jimmy faces a thing, that's exactly what flashes through his mind. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah. 
But then, I, I feel like sometimes you can miss things by by not putting the pressure on as well. But I, I, I don't true, know. I true, don't yeah, know. yeah. Just letting them just letting them pick off a player every turn is 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 is, is a risk in its own. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you're playing a chaos team, right, with one claw bomber and a, and a bunch of like you know not as good players, then if you base them all up and make it all about the ball, you get a turn of hit, which is pretty bad. But at least you're not taking that, you know. But if you get then get the ball, at least you're not taking that in one, you know, tackle bomb or tackle claw bomb or whatever. Hit yeah, every exactly. Turn. Yeah, that, that's one of the best ways to avoid damage against chaos, isn't it? Make the fight about the yeah. ball and uh so yeah but then but again that's because you kind of think you don't have an inevitability in a way isn't it is when you would do yeah that. that's fair that's fair yeah like if you're playing against a team like vampires with those like you should like you just like go full in instantly try to make you know make it awkward for them to roll dice but that's a bit of a weird situation yeah but i guess like... i guess there's some extension of that for like teams which don't can't stabilize well like if you have a lot of blood steppers you could probably do it against like a necro team or an undead team in some ways when there's like a bunch of like shitty zombies who like can't can't do stuff and then uh, <laughs> a bunch of like uh just situational isn't it i did i did it versus yeah, Chris, yeah. didn't i first turn like he he, mm. he he made his los hits didn't hurt anybody so and i was like fuck it let's go all in you know because like I had a pretty oppressive, a pretty oppressive high elf team that season. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Yeah. vamps are like the perfect example, of like because every single dice you make them roll is horrible for them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hundred percent. But there was an interesting one, uh, Rick versus Temper Soul, right? Where you were pretty happy with how Temper Soul played it for the first few turns, right, Jimmy? Whereas I, I felt that was an example where. He, he, he his, his blood step was so dominant and so tough for the like barely any tackle lizards to deal with. I, I felt like he should have gone in earlier there. Mm. But it's it's fair. I I, I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? I might have been trying to be diplomatic as well. <laughs> oh, fair, fair, fair. <laughs> <laughs> but I probably Jim, thought it was Jim fine. tried to be diplomatic. Hmm. Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I do try. I do try yeah. to not shit on people. Yeah. Like I try not to. Un unlike unlike the turd beater, <laughs> I try. I try not to. But um. It depends, doesn't it? Like, I, I do generally like, you know, I'm generally more okay with the yeah, conservative lines of play, and obviously Chuntrin and Arian are more comfortable with more aggro lines, aren't they? So who knows? And Elliot, surprisingly, isn't he? Is 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 all about getting rowdy sometimes. I mean, that that's just a meme, Jimmy. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> just watch Elliot play rats or vampires, and then suddenly we're rolling all the dice. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the vampires have no choice to them, like, sadly. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's all the dice, or... or, or do you just oh, I didn't realise that last turn was turn seven. I was like, this mm. seems this seems weird. Why is he running all these players back yeah. and not defending the advance at all? I was like, oh, wait. But because there's only two scoring threats. <laughs> oh, yeah, wow. This, this drive's gone by quickly, hasn't it? Yeah. They, yeah, they yeah. really did just, like, stand around in lines. For two turns. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to be it's gonna be a 3-2, though, isn't it, the score here? I don't think there's any... Anything better than just a 3-2? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then hand off to the edge 5 and lob it to him. Oh, Mankis does have his, the scoring threat through. That's good. Yeah. That's good. I think... I think when your opponent does this and only has, like, the... the two, like, a few pieces... Yeah, I don't like that blitz, because it's, it's not yes. relevant, is it? You yes. should have blitzed yes. this one. You should, absolutely should have blitzed this one. Like, a hundred million percent. Yeah. Like, like yeah. that, to me, yeah. is just wrong. Was, was just thinking that, yeah. But the witch has mighty blow, and uh, this this guy <laughs> has mighty blow. This guy has mighty blow. Oh no, true, true, true. <laughs> no, everyone's got mighty blow on this whole thing. <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Rowdy. And and this is. Like it, it's hard to criticize, right? For sure, but this is kind of what Vanek saying is. You have to go in at some point because th this wasn't like the greatest setup in in a way by armor, but it's still not that many dice for the elves to score, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, elves versus elves is a dodgy one, isn't it? Because like it is, it is. What you've what, got what to do, the... you've got to resign yourself to they're going to score. Almost, haven't you? Right, and then you've got to try and how do you make them score before turn eight, basically. It's pretty tricky without like a diving tackle piece or like a strip bowl or something where you can like really threaten like like they go mm, okay now I, I I can't see 
you know, you can't make a really nice next turn when there's that strip ball leaper or that you know two diving tackles which can base me up you know it's like but without that it's just a bunch of bludgemen standing around next to a bunch of bludgemen oh i i guess uh, as well talk about mankey's defense he, he he really doesn't have to go in. He really doesn't have to stop armor, does he? Because I've just realized he's got a natty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Doesn't even have to play Blood Bowl. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, p playing a very hands-off defense is very, uh, very understandable. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. Correct. What, what, what was not good dodge the dog? What, what, you, what did you not like? <sighs> Ooh, a blitz. Oh, that's huge if, there's, if they're in range. The movement guy, maybe? Maybe that was a mi oh, man, No, because he can strength. He's, he's so fast it wasn't a mistake. But yeah, he had to back on. This is pretty good. What do you think about now? setting up to push the edge guy? Like, for the one turn. Like, having the backup of the edge guy. Where, where's the edge catcher? I can't through. see him. He's, oh, he's back down. Again, he's, I guess he's picking up the ball, right? Because yeah, the throw is out. So that's yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. The, like, the edge guy is just better, though, right? At one turning. Mm. So, yeah. yeah, that's like, what I'm saying. Like, yeah, but, like, yeah. obviously, you've got to get the pushes and all that. And yeah, like, yeah. Like, roll sure, a double sure, skull sure. or something and then go, oh, yeah. fuck, there's my... And, it, and it's a little tricky with outside step, but yeah, I, I just have to try, I think. That was unlucky, wasn't it, for uh, the man kids meat throttle, but still can just blitz this guy out of the way and 3 2 it. In fact, is it ease? Yeah, this is oh, easier, no, right? Uh, oh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he it's through, I guess. Three, three, he, two, didn't, he used to be. He used to be defending. He used to have to do a four plus dodge, didn't he? Well, but you could. You could. Because he had the full a, back. Yeah. You could yeah, do three feet two with a blitz, right? Yeah, this is weaker now. Oh, oh yeah. He could have always blitzed with the ball carrier. Yeah. yeah. But now and he's got short two. Now he's just three two. Yeah, yes. Yeah, 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 it's nice. Yeah. And you got the dodge roll. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. This is easier. Yeah. For sure. The old perfect defense making the one turn easier. <laughs> Classic. I never would have. I've never done anything like this before. Oh, well, it's pretty good if he's just going to roll a double one. Oh, brutal. Diced. Not even dead. Diced again. Yeah. Well, potentially makes for more interesting game. I might see overtime now. Yeah. Well, I guess I guess. Overtime yeah, now not... mankids can one turn in overtime instead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I guess overtime is not that interesting to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> is is elf versus elf boring? It, it might be honestly. Yeah. If people like I, I to think, think you it's need big like, brain, don't they? I think you need if you have like if there's diving tackle and strip ball in yeah. the game. Or then crazy suddenly I think it's actually pretty interesting. When it's a bunch of bloodstep men and another bunch of bloodstep men, yeah. and maybe an edge up on either team or something, I, mean, I think it. I think it is small brain, maybe. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it is one of those, isn't it, where like generally elf coaches are like, oh yes, I'm far superior to bash closes. It's all it's all thinking, mm. big brain thinking with elves and elf ball. There is an element of that, which is... Funny. I mean, everyone's like that, though. The, the non-elf coaches are like, stupid elves, they just run around with the ball and do... You know, what does it I position <laughs> perfectly and don't get to roll a bunch of dice and at the end. <laughs> it's, it's true, but like, yeah, I, yeah, to be fair. But they are like more forgiving in a way, right? Like, it, it's interesting because elves can just like mill around the middle and yep. roll some dice, yep. can't they? Like, that is just have, true. Have you ever met someone who plays basically, you know, one race and says, oh... Or, or one sort of genre of races, you know, Agile Bash, and says, "Oh no, this is this is the easier way to play <laughs> yeah, the yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is this is the this is I, I'm playing this way because it's the most OP and it's the easiest." Right, right. <laughs> no one says that. Apparently, lizards, rats, elves, <laughs> claw bomb, they're all underpowered. Everyone's underpowered if you yeah, ask yeah. like people who play that team a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> You, you'll get that. Yeah. No one's playing the OP teams. <laughs> <laughs> no, not me. Yeah. I would never. Honestly, to be fair, if, if you ask Crucifer, he'd, he'd probably happily admit that he's playing Chorus because mm, they're the okay. best. <laughs> mm, yeah, that's, that's it's, 
In fact, Chris was probably the only person I've ever heard ad- ad- admit that. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Page, Mr. Page does as well. Yeah, true, like, true, he yeah. says, I don't play claw. Pot. He says, I, I, I don't play claw because I've got a. Or is it something, a, a, an affiliation for lobsters or something? <laughs> <laughs> affinity for lobsters, that's what he said. I don't play, I don't play claw because I've got an affinity for lobsters. It's because it's the best way to win games of Blood Bowl. That's funny to It was really funny, yeah. That was fair. That was just good stuff. I mean, not, not, you know, a lot, lot of people, you know, that, you know, I think it takes a, you know, a bit of self awareness to admit that, doesn't it? You know, mm. <laughs> like yeah, I play yeah. a strong game because I like it because it's strong, you know. Yeah, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that, right? Like, no, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with it, but everyone seems to go, oh, yeah. you know, not yeah. my team. You know? My way yeah, of yeah. playing is the most noble and honourable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's all the others. (laughs) (laughs) It's all the others that are wrong. (laughs) Wow, don't be mean, Alma. Don't be mean. But... So the thing with chaos is like chaos is powerful, isn't it? But it it isn't totally brainless. Like it can be the most brainless, can't it? Chaos, in particular, chaos and Nurgle, like Clawpom, can be the most brainless because it gives you the best chance to just high roll into automatic victories, doesn't it? Yeah. Whereas like you've still got to see the play with elves that can obviously elves and Skaven can get automatic victories as well, can't they? With blitzes and what have you. One yeah, turns, but, but like even that. then, the play with elves is often just like you know, do a dodge and lob the ball or you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, there's still it's still more interactive though, isn't it? Than just removing it's, it's, the whole team. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I, the I, best sort of blood bowl is when there's one team which is rather responsive and one yes. team which is rather bashy, yeah. and I think that's when you get the best quote unquote blood bowl where both sides have to do the most thinking. Yeah, yeah. right. Because one team's trying to think, okay, I've got to try kill some men's, move up the pitch while these shitheads dodge around in front of me and the other guy's going to go, oh, I want to steal the ball, I want to control space I want to take advantage of my movement you know, when there's that I think I think that's where the best, like the best stuff happens when there's one team, which is the two teams with dif- different game plans yeah, the funny thing is, even those I feel like the elf team tends to like the games, the, the elf team forces the game to come down to crucial roles in a way, doesn't it, you know? Like, they'll have their turn where they base everyone up and, and you know, things go well or they'll have their sacking play and it, they do seem pretty swingy on dice. But maybe maybe that's true of bash teams as well, I don't know. I, I think it's like, it's it's certainly hidden more with a bash team. Like, the, 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 the randomness is hidden more, whether or not there is whether or not there is less randomness, it's sort of split up and spread across more turns, right, I guess? Yeah. Cause there's a lot of luck in, like, the removals, isn't there? Like, yeah, I mean, like, like, being able to get forwards and stuff, and that kind of thing. Yeah. It's very interesting. Super interesting. Nope. Didn't want that guard anyway. No, that's a bit shit. Just talking about random things, because no, you know, nothing's really happening in this big brain game of elves. Oh no, here we go, we've got a blood step on the ball. But the thing is, without a diving tackle or something, you know, at worst, the elves just dodge off. Yes. Right? Yeah, you want to deal <laughs> with it, don't like, you? You want, you want to block it off, but... You want to block it off. But you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. But like at worst, <laughs> just goes for the one Oh wait, we're hitting the ball! Oh my god. Okay. How? Ow. Ow. <laughs> wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> Who's watching the game? Someone should be telling us <laughs> things that should happen. How did that Is happen? Sort of. Who's, it, who's on this commentary team? <laughs> Someone should be in charge of watching the game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, do we have to? <laughs> what are you two watching, okay? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm still staring at the space, Judith. <laughs> Me too. Ooh, what a oh, my God, last reroll. Wow, How is, when did he use his oh. rerolls? What's going on? <laughs> This is an intense, really close game with lots of thinking. <laughs> We've just been blabbing on about how it had no thinking. Oh, oh so, so, so now, though, I guess, I guess the Dark Elves are just going to smash in, right? But base up every turn, find those double scores or something. Dodgy dodges or whatever. That's what big, big pressure coming in, I think. 
Yeah, yeah, you've got a pressure, but the problem is obviously you can scoot away, can't they? But yeah. Two, two, two. <sighs> it's gonna bang things. Oh! Big, big hit with boots. Dead. Freaking armor because it's mighty blow! Whee! Oh. <laughs> hey! Dick. Classic Rickism. Mm -hmm. My favourite is regular blow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I love oh, the regular blow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, go get some regular blow. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, is it really, uh, Tom? He does watch a lot of space, so yeah, maybe, maybe he picked it up from space. Mm. Spaces and can size up to here, can't he? So this still wasn't safe. Why didn't he go? It's oh, a friendly community. Well. Oh man, friendly stuff. Oh wow, deserved, deserved okay, self removal. Did. Glorious. Didn't want oh. with this is why we didn't take Roxy. <laughs> 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 it is, yeah, all the sidestep, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has given us so much, hasn't he, Tom? One of one of the one of the Blood Bowl two MVPs for sure. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. I'm not bitter at all about the fact that he's pushed me <laughs> over and over again. He's, he's great in his space. I do love a bit of space. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely one of the most I iconic streams. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that, what... that, that's a word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what you're getting with a space stream. <laughs> yeah. No, no, for sure. I reckon space is fucking iconic. Yes, oh, yeah, he is, he is. And, uh, hello, man, kids, you say that, but <laughs> you may look at the booth and think, wow, these are some expert Blood Bowl minds. <laughs> None of us are watching the game, so, you know, you know there's, there's that too. There is that. We have covered topics like elves are dumb, though. <laughs> yeah. so... <laughs> elves are dumb. God is good. Why? Mighty Blow is pretty good too. Oh yeah, look at that. <laughs> Matt breaks the armor because of Mighty Blow and gets the cars. There you go. Oh no, it wasn't Mighty Blow, was it? It was a catcher. Mighty Blow, completely irrelevant. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Finds irrelevant blow. In blood blow commentary. The regular blow gets the job done. Well done. <laughs> This is weird to, to abandon these three. Four even, there's four players here. To abandon them, I don't know. It looked like he was tempted to like bracket them at first. Yeah. Because he has a bit, yeah. It's only the one he's, he's uh, can get out on two possibles. Ooh, it's interesting even taking this block because yeah. we've just freed up this blood stepper to, because Mankis is actually pretty on, okay. Talking about the game here, wow. Mankis is on a bit of a timer here of yep. actually getting up the pitch. So, having a blood stepper which can easily wrap around to the other side and be the front of this advancement is like actually pretty, pretty good. Yep, huge. Huge. This one doesn't have sidestep though, so you'd want to go here, wouldn't you, normally, I think. So, I don't know where he's going to go up here or something. <gasps> Ooh, Ooh, that, that, yeah, that is where he goes. Well, that's where he'd want to stand, but with sidestep, isn't it? So, is is he mm. going to go in for the surf? Would you try and surf? You got to think. You got to. You got to think about it at least. I guess. Hey. Mm. Yeah, like probably probably would see what the game see what the state ends up like. If he makes this dodge, then maybe. yeah, oh, that that protects protects yeah, can't, can't really. Um, yeah, that can't, can't, you have to cancel. go through tackle. Oh yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, that protects it. Yeah. That was so. Yeah, it was good. Good move there because that is absolutely where you want to put him. This is high step, isn't it? But mm -hmm. well, was a yeah, the tack. Well, I mean, the tack was very nicely. Yeah. yeah. Nicely. But you see, taking that block before with the witch was freeing that blood step just mm. now in front. Like he would have had to three two to get up there and just like. I guess the I the other perspective is extra. I guess he 
Like at the end of the day, it's just a three-two though, right? With dodge, and you can power him. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. And, and you can't even arm break him. Obviously, it's 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 difficult to think of the upside sometimes. It's it's so easy to see the downside, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. No, that's it's true. Very, that's true. Very natural to. Uh... Oh my goodness! There's there's not too much better in the sound effects than the health screams of pain. Oh right, right. <laughs> that's true. Oh, yeah. Broken. Oh my goodness. Yeah, high heels are such good value, both using them and like, like you know, both you, the has when you score and everything, but yeah, also the screeches of pain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is great. <laughs> yep, love them. Love high elves. Oh, we got to the edge anyway. Oof. Is a that's a big Kaz. There is no bribe. Is it is it bribe or is no, that no bribe? Just just, wow. just Should he just um hubris? Yeah, that was a run by the Jason Fowl, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe that's it. It was a run by tribute. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it worked. Oh, it oh my goodness! Away. Did you guys see? I played run back. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, the misclick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And you know, I, I he got a sack of my ball. He just got a runner, and he just found a guy on the ground. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh, is this a double GF? So, yeah. Oh, gets it. Oof. Like the thing is as well, like the the chances that he does that with the guard runner, like weeks after doing another foul with a guard guy. Like... Oh my goodness! Yeah. <laughs> yeah the fact that it was a guard phase as well. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that's definitely cemented. You know, fouling with your favorite yes. player as a run back foul. From the oh, hundred percent, you know, yeah, if, forever. <laughs> you know, if he, if he wanted to claim the meme, he he's taken it now. You know, that's that's his. You've got it, man. <laughs> Immortalized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hashtag not oh, a misclick. Love... <laughs> yeah, love me some. Oh, oh yes. Oh, yeah. And you can't give the Dark Elves two turns, can you? So you've yep, got to stall yep. here somehow. <laughs> and it doesn't look easy. Fouling with a loner this time. Very unexciting. Mm. No Kaz. Yeah, no reward. Yeah. Deserved. <laughs> Didn't even foul with your guard, Pete. Or edge five. You know. Does everyone go through the clutch stepper? God, I think we're scoring this turn, honestly. We can't though, we can we? Can't. I mean, I think we. I don't. I don't. I don't know if there's. We can screen. We can a... roll dice to screen. It's yeah, horrible. This is, but... this is quite nice. This is this is quite. This is really nice for me. Cause... Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. Actually, pretty great solution here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't like that. I didn't spot this at all. Oh no, it doesn't matter. Oh no, it's a three anyway. Yeah. Yeah, it's a three anyway. I didn't see. It's just a lot of threes, yeah. which would have put me off. Yeah. yeah. It was then, good like, though, good but I guess you're down men's anyway, right? So like everything's a little you gotta there's gotta be some dice rolling somewhere, right? Yeah. That makes sense, so yeah. there has been some banging from the mighty blue elves and here we are. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that attempt. Yeah, and it's hard to get there with tackle or anything, right? Like there's no uh, no wrestle or tackling range. I guess there's a frenzy. Maybe he's a strip hole lad. Is that? Oh, oh, oh but Mo uh, not Mo I'm no, he's, he's, uh, he, could, he could roll a four. He hasn't got he dodge goes, goal, the the <laughs> Oh, the re roll! Ooh, wow, oh my god. Wow. I mean, for a sec, you can't power Bludger without a re roll. That's just no, not It's just not possible. It's just not possible. Does Frenzy so. count as a re roll, though? I'm not putting mm. a Frenzy anyway. It's a long way to go, isn't it, with a Frenzy? It is, but. More, more dice is more good. It would have been a J fight to hit in the first place. Yeah, but probably Max does knockdown though. It probably does, yeah. But then this gives you more cover afterwards. True, true, potentially. true. Yeah. And so no you've got a 55% yeah. knockdown with the frenzy, but you've got to take two GFIs yes. off it. Yes. 
Yeah. Mm. But one GFI at a time. <laughs> Maybe not two oh, GFIs. Oh, but wow, okay. Okay, I'm not doing yeah. that. Cut down that. Okay. The catcher can <laughs> will blitz, blitz back now, probably. Yeah, I thought he'd blitz surf. Oh, wait, is that guard? Oh, no, that's a guard. Never mind. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just dodge going off, uh, going off oh. instinct and feel, which is like the one way. Nice. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Because oh, so this was nice this was the right play, wasn't it for sure? Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, for sure. One. Wow, what a what a thriller! Both teams in yeah. zero rerolls. Yeah, great, great. The second half, the first half was a little dull, on the dull side. <laughs> the second half was great. Yeah. Yeah. The second half, crazy stuff. Yeah. yeah. Ooh. That one turn missing with the the snakes and then that snake. Yeah, 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 pretty pretty brutal for for monkeys, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, got out bashed as well. Got out bashed and then critical snakes. But then you know, do you give Alma credit for making the critical snakes happen? Certainly not on the one turn. You can't give him any credit because yeah. he made it easier. Well, not, not on the one turn, so he made it easier, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think you know it's made good pressure and yeah, you know yeah. getting 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 good fouls and pressure and you know he made Mankis retreat off first, which and forced like lots of players on the ground. Mankis Mankis had a lot of players on the ground, right, which led to more blocks for Angelmer, which led to more removals, which led to this more pressure. So I mean it all built up. And, yeah. Yes. The pressure builds up just like when you need a poo. So there you go. Just thought I'd bring that back down to the usual level for the end of the match. Uh, congratulations to Alma. Commiserations to Mankis. Thank you very much. And Eliod and Gadenik. What a glorious pair to have on. Thank you so much, guys. It's a pleasure. You're welcome. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.